I'm actually thinking to zoom in more so that you guys can see me better so let me zoom in now so guys she didn't actually use um, primer she ended up remembering like from what I've watched here so I'm going to be using primer I'm going to be using the milk of the milk hydro grip primer so I'm just going to go ahead and um, you know do the concealer she's applying it pretty much everywhere so let's see just going to go ahead and apply that everywhere as well like I'm quite scared but I'm quite confident in myself <laughs> that will do a good job today so and she doesn't use she doesn't use any um beauty blender she just uses brushes so that's another scary part I'm using this same brush that she used and just blending everything out if you're someone that is scared of a glam glam then she's not a person for you but if you're someone that loves a full glam then follow her like she's super talented it's unbelievable sometimes even So she uses a Too Faced foundation that she says is red for her, that is a bit red and this one is from Fenty Beauty, it's a bit red too for me and it's a bit dark so I'll be using this because she uses the Too Faced one that is in the tube and this is the only thing I have that is similar. She's also taking her Instapop cheek brush and I have that, I got it actually because of her so when I saw her use it in a few tutorials so I'm just going to go ahead and this brush is from Real Techniques, by the way, so that much. So I'll be using um, this one from Juvia's Place, it's in the shade number 4, all around her head, her hairline. She still uses that same Instapop um, cheek brush, so... I'm just going to go ahead and go in with a bit of foundation just so I can make it look a lot neater than what it's looking like like this is a whole lot of blending guys so she goes in with a very bright concealer tan sand by Too Faced I don't have that I'm going to be using this one from e.l.f. it's really bright I'm scared so let's see so I'm a little nervous I'm just praying it comes out right day left now I'm just take the color pop 210 foundation stick like she moving, she's moving so fast. Wait for me, girl. <laughs> but that's the thing with like YouTube videos. If you make it too long, people are not going to watch. So kind of understand. But it's a bit difficult when someone is like me and trying to follow through. Like she's already applying her nose contour. So then she goes in to blend her nose out next before blending out the rest of her face. She went ahead to set her under eyes with a bright powder that she said she makes buttercup, the two shades of Sasha buttercup. I don't have those, so I'm just going to be using this one from um, Beauty Bakery. It's their flower setting powder. So next up she goes into her Zulu palette and I have that. I'm just going to use, this is the shade she used, this brown shade here. So she uses this as her bronzer and it looks so beautiful like, it has like this reddish orangey tint to it she comes back on and she's not looking as powdery as she was looking before she went off i'm assuming that's because she set her face with setting spray so i'm just going to go ahead and use this one from mac it's one of their um holiday collections ish and i'm just going to spritz it all over my face 
because my under eye was getting really dry like dry okay she's doing her brows now and then for brows she goes in with three shades a dark one granite from abh then soft brown and a lighter one i don't have that i have some gels from um higa and esther hair so that's what that's what i'll be using before she uses it though she goes ahead to set her she goes ahead to set her brows and i'll be using um huda beauty blondie to do that And I'm gonna so put that she used I'm gonna use a shade highlighter. that looks like this, and this is the Kiko highlighter, and she's using a pencil yeah, brush as well. I don't get why she just applied only nose highlighter and she went back into the um, brows, but we're following her tutorial. Let's go. So I'm just going to mix in a bit of this and Ingloss gel liner in 77, just a very tiny bit to give me that really dark. She likes her eyebrows dark and sharp brows actually look dark <laughs> like this is not my regular brows i'm going in she used three shades like in a gradient form so that's what i'm just trying to mimic so this is what one eye looks like i'm going to go ahead and do this on this side this is what the brows are looking like um she goes ahead to conceal the brows and she uses the same tan sand um concealer and this type of brush i don't have tan sand and since we're going into eyeshadow now i'm going to go ahead and use my p louise base She still takes the Zulu, um, same Zulu palette and the brush like this with this shade here and she just packs it outside and takes it up That's into her brow. So I'm actually like stamping on the color the way she did so that we have like maximum pale and I switched out the brush I was supposed to use so I'm using this one instead using this yellow and then like a fluffy brush like so into that shade we use for highlighter the kiko milano gold eyeshadow as well so i'm just going to go ahead and blend out the edges and it looks like she applied that same yellow from the zulu palette back like here to kind of blend to make it blend um, better so I'm going to go ahead and do that I'll mix the yellow and the brown so these two colors yeah this is what she definitely did but she didn't show it on camera I just I just thought about it so I'm noticing with this look like everything is super like blown out so that's what I'm just trying to achieve so she goes ahead to use like a Pat McGrath um, whitish gold eye eyeshadow and she says how sparkly it is I don't have anything like that I'm going to go ahead and use this so pro loose pigment it's it's called a fairy dust Like it's so sparkly wow this stuff is super amazing you can use it all over your face to give you that like glow effect like um fenty beauty fairy bomb you can also use it in like your setting spray to make like a glow spray you can use it as pigment you can use it as so many things she goes ahead to apply liner and she's using the nyx nyx liner and i'm just going to go ahead and use this one from inglot the inglot um 77 liner is the most blackest liner I have. So she makes it like go up. So I have to keep quiet so I can concentrate to get that. And blend it out before it dries up. Because it has its smoky. And then also blend it into the eyeshadow. I didn't add any black. Um, I didn't add any black eyeshadow. I just blended it out. 
she uses eyelash glue to apply her her glitter i have like a detailed um glitter video on my channel something that'll help you like guide you in case you want to do um glitter looks like i teach different types of glitter on there so you could check it out in case you're interested next she does um mascara and then she goes ahead to line her waterline with a um nudish pencil ish i don't have that i'm going to be using my younger beauty assurance it's an eyeshadow base but it's matte and it does the job as well like it will dry down really matte and i'll be using this sort of like lashes that flare out um towards the end i'll do the mascara off camera lashes off camera and then i'll be right back so she goes ahead to turn all her um breakouts to beauty mark so that's what i'll be doing as well This lip I'm using now, I don't know where my camera cut from, but it's just, this is from Teos, it's called Josie, and this is from Sleek Beauty. So I just mix them up, and then that is what I'm using as my new gloss. She does this thing where she does this, and her hair and her wig and her outfit comes on, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so I'm back and how about we zoom out so we can round up this tutorial so guys that completes um the tutorial or me following her tutorial and what i can say is my face is actually beat like i would never do my makeup to be this full coverage like it's amazing I enjoyed it but it was a lot of blending like this is almost three hours now like I've been filming for almost three hours trying to follow her of course the tutorial itself is like 20 something minutes but you know how YouTube is and trying to make it short so that it will not be too boring um let me know if you guys want me to have have any more recreations down below leave me like a comment telling me what look or who you'd like me to recreate let me also know your thoughts on this look did I do well? Did I not do well? I'm going to leave her own look somewhere um, on the screen so you can see for yourself. Thank you so, so much for watching up until this point. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It's very important to me. Like all this hard work, I would really appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. It will really make me a happy girl. And I'm going to see all you lovelies in my next video. Bye.